Hi everyone, on this week's episode, we're continuing on with our series of Egg That, and for episode 3, we're using Paracord. So when I decided that episode 3 was going to be Paracord, I knew that there was only one brand that I wanted to use. Atwood Rope. Now I've been following this family owned company for quite a few years, They've been established in the US since 1985. Although I bought these ones from a supplier in Tasmania. I got some yellow with a red tracer, some maroon and pink stripes, white, orange and blue, and some red. Now I think these colors are gonna look great in an egg. Now just like every other episode of Egg That, I'll also be adding a lucky Australian penny. And this one's from 1961. Now making this blank should be really easy. A lot easier than when I made the fabric egg. Because all I need to do is cut this paracord into different lengths, put it in my container, add the penny and some resin, and then once I've done that, I'll pop it into the vacuum chamber. I'll create a vacuum drawing all the air out of this paracord, and then once I release the vacuum, all the resin will get sucked into the cord. And then once we've done that, we can pop it into the pressure pot and watch it dance on pot cam. So now that you know how I plan on making it, let's get started. Well, I think I jinxed myself. That was way harder than I thought it would be. Luckily though, Nicole saw me cutting them with the scissors and gave me her guillotine. Well, I've just been cutting paracord for over two hours and I had to resort back to the scissors because I think I broke Nicole's guillotine. I must have over 5,000 pieces here. There's so many and the colors look amazing. It's now time to mix up some resin.
Well, I think that's turned out really great. We did get a little bit of shrinkage on the side here, but it's not too bad, it's only a couple of mil. It's definitely not gonna affect us on the lathe. But apart from that, it looks awesome. Now, just like past episodes of Egg That, I'll be randomly adding this egg into someone's order from my Etsy store. I'll leave a link in the description. Now let's get this waste block on and start turning. Well that paracord was definitely harder to turn than I thought, but it's definitely worth it. So the next thing I need to do is give this a sand and a polish. In addition to randomly adding this egg into someone's Etsy order, I'll also be running a sale. So this weekend, everything in my store will be 10% off. So if you're looking to start your Christmas shopping early, head over and take a look. You might see something you like. Now let's check out this egg. 